Hi folks, uh, today we have the new Samsung Galaxy Tab 10x1, which we shouldn't really have, but we do. Um, so uh, this isn't coming to Ireland until at least early August. Uh, it'll be in the UK on the 4th of August, but uh, we have ways of making these things walk. So uh, we managed to get our hands on it. Okay, so um, this is the 10.1 inch uh, Galaxy Tab uh, from Samsung. Um, as you know, they've had a 7-inch one out in the marketplace for quite some time now, for all, you know, best part of a year actually. And uh, the difference is obviously size, but the I, I think the feeling I get from this is it's a leap uh, forward. The 7-inch the uh, Galaxy Tab always felt to me like an extended version of, of the... Um, the Samsung Galaxy uh, smartphone, and uh, I just think this feels more like a a tablet that was made to be a tablet, not a phone. Uh, so it's uh, it's got this amazing screen uh, that uh, is, is 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 typical of of, of the Google um, operating system. Um, basically, it's equipped with a one gigahertz dual core processor, has an Nvidia Nvidia Tegra two chip, and uh, it's basically only, as you can see, about 8.6 millimeters thick. Uh, the obvious uh, difference between this and, and say the iPad 2, which which it will be competing against, is it is it seems slightly lighter. Um, you know, uh, the the actual uh, difference between the two really is also, I think, fundamentally uh, just the materials used in it. Um, the iPad 2 feels very metallic because it has a metallic back, and uh, the core difference being the iPad 2 is only slightly smaller than this. Um, I'll just show you the back of it. As you can see, uh, it's got a more of a plasticky kind of softer feel to the back of it, so actually you, you think it could take a, a bit of a beating uh, camera flash here. Um, difference obviously when you look at these things first, I mean the problem with tablets is they all kind of look the same um, really but the difference really here is obviously no button here because that's the first thing anyone who's been using an iPad would use is look, look for the button uh, so that's not there so uh, is it fast? Well it's got a one gigahertz processor, uh, dual core processor it's uh, fast alright, I mean it's it's pretty swish. I got. I love this uh, this three dimensional holographic feeling that you get from 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 the Android operating system. Um, it's very just very easy to use. So uh, just to give you an idea of uh, what the device is like in terms of video, because I mean this will be the killer app for a lot of people. Will be the kind of um, you know stuff that they'll watch on it. So let's go into video. We'll basically do a search for a um, new film, let's say Cars 2. That is it. So you can see fairly fast, uh, even even just for searching for stuff. So we'll just go into the browser here, uh, or into the YouTube browser, and um, we'll play short excerpt of this so uh, it really does feel like having your own TV in your hands um, that's one of the amazing things about uh, the whole generation of tablets we're at the moment it's no surprise to me that these are eating into the, into the sale of um, of uh, basically tablet PCs or, or sorry laptop PCs So what do you do with a, with a Google-based device? Well, you play to Google's strengths, I think, and mostly that revolves on things like mapping, for example. Uh, I, I feel uh, the mapping on, on this is very crystal clear, and again, it's nice to see the operation system actually do what it's meant to do. Um, you know, especially, I suppose, when someone like Google goes and builds a product, uh, like a mapping system and a, a satellite system, it's, it's actually interesting to see what it does. So you've got a load of great... Um, abilities to just do so much more with the map you can do as you can see you can mix with the layers so the latitude terrain 
satellite. I even look at the traffic. <laughs> so that, that could be very, oh look, here we have some bad area here, so I won't be driving, driving that way tonight. Uh, again, uh, the device has a camera on the back and also a little camera on the front, so uh, it is actually very good for doing um, conversations like uh, Google Talk, for example. Um, Skype uh, hasn't really worked very well on this particular device. I don't think the camera works well with it, but certainly uh, Talk has worked with Google. Um, so just to give you an idea of just what it can do. Um, I, as you can see, uh, the camera works like this. Uh, you know, the usual, usual. If you're used to a, a smartphone camera, it's the same thing. So here's the one we made earlier, just a picture. And uh, there's so many things you can do uh, with this thing. So this is a picture of a brick. Uh, <laughs> don't you can read into that if you want. Uh, so basically, uh, you can share your pictures out. Uh, you have options: Picasa, Bluetooth, Gmail, and email. This is a little bit disappointing because uh, on smartphones, particularly from things like the Galaxy S, you get a little more options in terms of what sharing to do. But I'm sure that will be fixed. Um, again, great uh, controls over over what you can do with the images. Um, Crop the image if you want. There you go. Uh, what I love about tablets, it's it's just like having your own personal uh, light box in your hand. So really, uh, I, I actually think compared to the seven-inch Galaxy Tab, this is streets ahead. It's a beautiful machine. So I suppose the question anyone watching this video will be asking themselves is uh, should I spend my money on the iPad 2 from Apple or should I buy this brand new uh, device from uh, Samsung? Um, so here we have side by side the iPad 2 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Uh, the 10.1 will run Google's new uh, Android 3.1 operating system. Uh, as you know, the iPad 2 would have the latest uh, iOS 4 operating system on it. What's the real core difference between the two devices, really? Um, uh, I, I have a feeling colours just seem a little bit more vibrant, actually, on the, on the Galaxy Tab. So here we have um, Pulse Newsreader app uh, live on both devices. Here you have it on the iPad 2, and it's in that particular blue, and it just seems a little bit more brighter on this but again this could be down to settings and stuff but uh, as you see both are very good for for reading and, and sharing information um, there's really really uh, these are our times this is the way this is the way we're going to read stuff and share stuff in the future so um, again you know the, the galaxy tab uh, has really stepped up to the plate it's 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 comparable um, with anything now that that uh, that is out there, and it's not. You know, it, you can't accuse it of just being an expanded phone. You, in fact, you can't accuse either of these devices of being an expanded phone. I suppose really then to just uh, to just look at the kind of the aesthetic differences between the two devices. Um, so, uh, what what are the core differences? So, as you can see, um, screens. It's slightly longer, obviously, being in size. Uh, back of the iPad, in terms of width, much of a muchness, really. Um, there isn't a huge difference in, in terms of width for these devices. As you can see, metal, plastic. Um, the iPad 2 uh, feels very fragile uh, because of its metal backing. It doesn't feel that it's... Um, it's going to withstand a fall as greater as great as this one, which has kind of got this plastic. That I just don't know if you can see it, but it it kind of feels like it's cushioned almost. So um, yes, so bigger screen, um, but equal processors, uh, equal width on both devices, really. There it is. Um, the advantages of the Galaxy Tab Two are. Uh, it's got a decent screen, it's got a good processor, it's uh, pretty rapid for searching stuff on the internet, it's good for rendering books, it's good for rendering movies, uh, you can watch Flash on it, which is an obvious advantage. 
Um, so I think uh, from Samsung's perspective, it's bravo, well done. I think I think it really does uh, offer something uh, alternative to the Apple's iPad, and um, I think I think the market's going to get a hell of a lot interest, a lot more interesting.